Welcome to Baking with Isabel in Fancy Clothes. Someone who knows little to nothing about baking that is wearing fancy clothes. Today we will be making eggnog pie because I love those things individually, so why not the, why we should be good together. They give you instructions on how to make your own crust, but I'm just gonna use a store-bought gingerbread crust because I'm not ready to get into all that yet. Southern Comfort in a carton. With these, you just have to believe you're strong and then they open. That's how you do it, folks. Christmas, I think, is my favorite holiday. But what's weird about this time around is that I'm an adult and so I kind of forget that Christmas is happening until it's here. Um, and I, uh, being 21 is weird and I am not a big fan, but at least I can make eggnog pie whenever I want. That's a plus. My scooper was wet. This is a technique called uh, you washed your measuring cups right before you baked, and so you gotta scrape the rest out with your finger. Three tablespoons of cornstarch? Only have a half tablespoon, so we're gonna do six of these. Looking great so far. The recipe calls for two egg yolks, which I have learned how to do one time, probably when I was seven years old, so I'm gonna try to figure that out. <laughs> oh, that worked pretty well! It's just the little guy in there. Oh, this is sick. You ever wonder why you uh, put some things in your food? Let's try the next one. Ugh. That is something else. I don't know what it is. It's something. Washing the egg down the drain. Is that in the, that should be in the Ratatouille musical? Mmm, yummy pie. Time to whisk. Oh, I need nutmeg and salt. I forgot the nutmeg and salt. Mm. Oh, it smells so good. I have only ever made one other pie in my life. This is from a Dolly Parton cookbook. It's a custard pie. It's pretty good, but not like my favorite. So I'm hoping this turns out better. It smells like Christmas. Place over medium heat and cook, stirring often for five to 10 minutes until the mixture begins to thicken noticeably and boil. And boil. some clumpy bits. I don't know what those are. Tonight my family is gonna put up our Christmas tree and watch Elf like we do every year, which is probably my personal favorite Christmas movie. Right on up there with like Santa Claus 2. <laughs> um, we usually have cookies and hot chocolate or something and so I'm excited to make like a special dessert for everyone that we can eat while we're setting up the tree. We just had Thanksgiving, and I think one of the main contributors to my new desire to learn how to cook more is the fact that I made this sweet potato casserole that was so good. And why does it have to be limited to one day a year? The, the answer is that it doesn't. And so I wanna learn how to make really good things for all the time. Here we are today. It's like cracked. So I'm gonna try to take these little crumbs and like <laughs> mash them into the, the cracks. I know it cracked more. <laughs> Stop that. I know there's a solution to this. I just don't know what it is. <laughs> I, I'm gonna stop now. This smells so good. Ugh. I love Christmas. Let me know some of your favorite holiday traditions with your family in the comments because I love to hear about those. And also YouTube has been disabling my comments on a lot of my videos. So if it says disabled, it wasn't me. Just comment on something on Instagram and I'll turn them back on. Ah. One of my favorite traditions growing up uh, 
was that when I was little and didn't have money to buy anybody anything, my family would go to the Dollar Tree on Christmas Eve, which is just a store where literally everything costs one dollar. And me and my siblings would get to buy presents for everyone. Um, and they could be heartfelt or they could be really silly because there's not much that you can get at the Dollar Tree. But um, it was a lot of fun. I think we might do like thrift shopping or something this year. Ooh, looky there. Ooh, oh, that smells so good. Final steps, I think. Teaspoons of vanilla. Definitely got too much in there. Okay. And then this part is optional, but I am 21, so we're gonna do a couple tablespoons of bourbon. <laughs> this looks so good. Oh my word. Oh. Mm, mm. This was a good decision. <laughs> Just imagine the epitome of Christmas, and that's what this smells like. Last step is to pour this into our broken graham cracker crust. This looks like mashed potatoes. stuck to the bottom of the pot a little bit. I gotta make it all pretty. I wanna garnish it with some nutmeg. Just real carefully. Which it didn't ask for, but we're gonna do it anyways. I want just a little taste test. That's good stuff. And now we let it cool for four hours. Thank you for joining me with this cooking adventure. Uh, I'll put the recipe in the description if you would like to bake along. Oh, also it's Cyber Monday, which means that I have 20% off of my entire Etsy shop, which means that since most everything is under $10, you're gonna get stuff really, really cheap. So I'll put the link in the description for that too. Merry, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, happy not celebrating anything if you do that. I'm just glad you're here. I'll see you guys next week.